and tomorrow's going to be special because tomorrow's the very last dog that I'm doing in the Dogs of Influence series, uh, which I've been mm. doing all this March. You can maybe hear something in the background because we have Judy. Have I <laughs> get the right one? Hello, Judy. Oh, hang on. You slipped down there in the Judy cat. Oh, it's all going a bit funny now. Oh, I need to... oh there we are. That's it. Oh, oh. It's all so technical, isn't it? <sighs> you having a nice cup of tea, are thing. you? Nice cup of tea, yes. are you, Judy? Oh, yes. How are you? Oh, where's my... Oh, no. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday <laughs> drawing <Yeah>. show marks. <laughs> How cool are they? You can... Get them in the link, link below if you're really, really desperate. <laughs> and in fact, if you send us a picture of you with a Wednesday mug, we'll show it on the show. Because yes. next week, next week, this show is, is, is changing. It's starting to, I was going to say it's starting to get serious, but it's not really getting serious. <laughs> but it's going to start doing what I want it to be, which will be a kind of like a magazine show about drawing. And um, we need your ideas. If you have ideas please let me know and i can show you it there where are we question at wednesday drawing show is the email and if you uh, if you contact that email address which should be in the description box below as well with ideas questions that you've got about drawing things you'd like us to cover then uh, do and we're going to be having a little chat about you next week judy Yes, indeed. <laughs> I've got to get that. Yes. We've got to get that worked out, haven't we? we decide what we're going to do. So we have got the gang. I'm not going to go through everybody because we we have got the gang on here on the chat, haven't we, Judy? It's a great and, gang. Uh, oh, and we've got hello. Joyce from <laughs> Hi, Joyce. How are you? <laughs> nice to have you here. <laughs> and, um, and Crispin wasn't here yesterday because... Crispin, mm. I, 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 there were so many things going on, but I remember you had a jab recently, haven't you? Well, I think you might have been suffering after effects. Sleeping. <laughs> Feeling a bit sleepy. <laughs> Missed the show yesterday, but never very mind. Welcome back, Crispin. And Karina Shoot is going back to, yes, Wednesday drawing show next week. He can't keep drawing live every day. You can say that again. <laughs> this has been quite um, a thing. Um, here it says, hola, Judy, nice total name, and love the mugs. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel says, honestly, he's earned a break. I, th I think I have. And Karen says, I know, but it's been great. It has been great. I've been enjoying it. Uh, Mega mm. Chi, there is a new name. You're very welcome. So um, how have you been, Judy? Yes, I'm a little bit nervous about my jab on Saturday. I, I see Karina has had hers today. Ah, well done, Karina. I think everything's moving so fast in this chat. I'm happy. Ah, where are we going? I'm sure she just, <laughs> I just saw somewhere. Um, oh, Joyce Joy, Joy says all the better for joining. And Ian's here too. Hi, Ian. How are you doing? That's uh, <laughs> Ian, and, Ian and Joyce at the, at the bank bookshop in Wigtown. <gasps> and um, you can go on their website, just... find lots of books if you're desperate to read. If you're desperate, still locked down. You don't know what to do. Go to the bank bookshop, the old bank bookshop in Wigtown. I think it's that's. Oh, you'll give us the you'll give us the um, the the link, won't you, Joyce, at the bottom, and uh, and they can find any book you want, and maybe maybe they got some nice drawing books they could tempt you with. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Second hand books at Wigtown is a wonderful place. Um, the I whole high street that... is, is the whole street is full of second hand bookshops. It's a whole town full of second hand bookshops. And it's great. I nearly I nearly bought the cafe and the guest house. But it's off Ooh. the market. Now. Oh. It was so tempting. Oh, you're a potential Wigtown E. Mm. Ah. I knocked the other day though, and it's off the market, so I presume it's oh. sold. <gasps> oh, there you go. Mm. But running a restaurant is quite hard work, isn't it? Uh, Louise mm. O'Connell, hi everyone. This is the first time I've managed to watch the live show. You are very, oh, very welcome. Well, well done for catching us. So today, um, I, 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 I'm going to get on with another dog. Now, this dog is really quite interesting. Um, <laughs> If I can find that, that the right thing to do. There we are. No, we've got the wrong name in there, you see? I'm sure oh, we are. Somewhere else. There we are. 
No, that's not it. This is what this is what <laughs> But I'm going to just very, very quickly, I'm going to get this right. <laughs> there is just so much going on. And, so many and things got, to remember. I've got, yeah, well, I've got the launch of the, the book tomorrow. Uh, so now we should have an uh, over. Oh, I haven't got an overlay. That's why. That's, uh, anyway, we have got Max here, who's also known as Sweet Beep. And this is Max, also known as Sweet Beep. He is an extremely popular ice cream influencer. <laughs> and he spends his time. I haven't got the microphone out here either. There we are. Is that better? <laughs> um, <laughs> and he spends his time thinking up inventive flavours and sharing them with his followers. Among his most popular flavours are sticks and stones, a delicious blend of peanut butter, ice cream with frozen banana slices and fresh sticks, and brothy berry, a decadent beef broth ice cream with ribbons of blueberry and raspberry jam throughout. It sounds mm, delicious. Uh, there is nothing Sweet Beep enjoys more than tasting his creations and bringing a smile to the faces of all the pups with his delicious concoctions. He would be invited to the Dogs of Influence to share his treats with his adoring followers. He's been working hard on a new goodie. He's excited to unveil at the show called Bacon Biscuit Bonanza. A scoop of bacon flavoured ice cream. <laughs> Sandwiched between two homemade biscuits and topped with, you guessed it, <laughs> more bacon. Everyone loves sweet treats and sweet beep would be a great addition to the event. I agree, don't you? <laughs> so I'm going to go over to the overhead camera. So I've been doing some sketching and thinking and planning. Um, and what is wonderful about max or sweet bit is look at his chest this is what really attracted me to him uh if i can come down here like that um look this is a five pointed star <laughs> we haven't got your overhead oh you can't see uh are you seeing on there We're you're seeing a picture of him aren't you yeah yeah well within that oh, little sorry, square I didn't... there right yeah. right yes I thought Can you, you see would... he's got like a five pointed star on his chest, which I think is rather magnificent. So uh, I'm going to come back to the overhead and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to draw him. But I'm going to draw him in um, this is much more of a, sort of a cartoony kind of way because I thought I'd do that on the Wednesdays. And I'm going to do him in grayscale as well, if I can find my glasses. <laughs> this is madness doing this it really is so so um i'm gonna start i'm gonna start off with him sort of round about here and i i always start with this circle which is like i imagine it to be the brain box and we're going to want an eye about there and another one there and because it's kind of going round the globe or the ball or the football however you want to imagine it this will be a little bit more round and this will be a bit more elliptical because it's around the corner and um and in fact i think i'm going to bring it in a little bit rather than being on right on the edge and then we want <laughs> a great big snuffly nose um and i think also i'm going to just tilt this uh to get that kind of cuteness in there so i'm going to do the nose a bit like that um, and then we're going to bring that around so there but I'm going to th that's what it should be really but I'm going to bring it back to about there um, and I am going to give him a great big tongue <laughs> licking <laughs> bits um, sort of flicking out you know from his tongue and we probably need little bits sort of dripping on his on his snout there as well and we want his ears quite quite a nice width between the ears and then that's going to sort of come across oh, something like that and then that will be something like that great big floppy ears uh, sort of quite, quite sort of sticking out ears and then uh, 
we want to have the neck coming down there and um, that will be the collar and and then we want this chest will be sort of coming out here and dying. <laughs> it's like a, a, an aerial it's, it's sensing interesting new flavors um, and and this is the this is the difficult bit here now so it's it's, it's fitting the star onto the front so I'm going to imagine this kind of line down the middle and do you remember that kayak thing I did with you, GT, a long time ago? Oh, yes. <laughs> right. So imagine a ball like that. And uh, so that will be like the north-south meridian. And that would be, oh, well, let's have it like that because we're going to be like, that would be the equator going around. So, you know, if it's if it's a globe, then that will be the um, the poles at the top. Um, so, and, and but... <sighs> But topographically, that's a long word, isn't it, Judy? <laughs> topographically, that is exactly the same as, say, uh, a, a, a kayak um, canoe thing. <laughs> another, another technical term. So it's exactly the same, um, but you just kind of pulled it out. And, and so uh, that would be going like that. So this dog's body... <laughs> It's exactly the same. It's just kind of extended out a little bit. So, it's, so you, uh, if it was an aircraft, you, know, you remember the, how, how you used to build aircraft with these kind of ribs and things? It's just exactly mm. the same kind of thing going on. So we need to have this line here, which is equal to uh, kind of the meridian, which would be going down there. And the equator line will be sort of coming around something like that so this we want to have as the center of the star so if we imagine a star a five-pointed star then the center is going to be about there so we want to have the top of the star about there and then and then we have to sort of curve it around a bit and that's going to come up about there and then that will go there and that will Okay, then we really want it sort of curving, curving around to make it look like it's meant to be. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Um, and then we had these long, rangy um, feet. And I'm just going to sort of put these lumps on the end. And then we want the uh, rump coming out there which will then come down to the <laughs> again sort of you know you'd have the spine the spine down there and you've got the the hips sort of like that so you've got the uh, the, the hip joint to the knee joint to the ankle which will then sort of go straight down and these are the metatarsals or something which then come down to the digits at the bottom which are the toes and then we're going to have something similar going on down there. So I mean, if you can if you can do all this sort of three D stuff in your head and, and kind of work it out, it really kind of makes it a little bit easier. And then we'll have that kind of nice S curve coming down there. And then you know, if you no, I won't say it, but you know, no. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to say what I was going to say. It'll upset too many people. So uh, we could have little um, carpal pads here. So we've learned a lot this for this fortnight or so. Three weeks actually, isn't it? Every time I um, see a dog now, ever since he's <laughs> been doing these, I'm I'm really studying and and oh yeah, no, that's that's and not going, a leg. That's foot. Oh, and that's carpal toes. pads. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, uh, so we could do something like that, and this is quite um, cartoony, as I say. This version. Oh, we haven't got a bottom jaw, have we? So, <laughs> so we're going to want something like that going on, um, and we'll have sort of teeth sticking down. We we might want to have teeth there as well. Good. So I'm going to go and do a, a, an intermediate version now. <laughs> And I'm going to get, oh, so, I haven't done the whole thing, have I? Sea White and Brighton for layout paper, 50 grams per square metre. Crispin 
picked me up in the chat. <laughs> I kept saying 50 grams per square inch, which it isn't, it's per square meter. Sorry, Chris, but you're absolutely right. Because I keep, I'm thinking of pixels per square inch and all that thing, you know, which is, that's the measurement I'm using mostly, I think. So it's just, 50 grams per square meter means it's very thin paper. And uh, if you want to try this, you'll find Amazon links down below. Um, and I get an affiliate fee, but you will not be charged extra. And uh, you can't get this one in the States. So I've, I found another one, I think it was Sanford, um, which will be very similar, but I, I haven't actually tried it. Um, so oh, I, I was going to do this in pencil just to get that sort of a bit more sort of softer. And it's, oh, no, I don't think I want that line there. So, um, so I think I want that sort of something like that and bits going off there and it's getting the eyes quite right so I'm going to put slightly flat on the bottom which will Green sort of... is asking if if you can repeat the star to make it bend ah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, once is quite enough for me. I've already <laughs> done my brain in. Um, uh, we'll see when we get to it on this one, and then I'm just going to do little kind of things like that, uh, just to show the sort of bottom teeth. And it's it's interesting um, because uh, the reason I'm doing this is because tomorrow, look, I've been preparing. Tomorrow is publication day for Walker, the mystery of the missing millions which is the second book in the Walk of the Boy Who Can Talk to Dogs series. And um, tomorrow is publication day and I'm going to be uh, kind of revealing this to the world at the Big Dog Festival online at 1.30 UK time tomorrow. You'll find a link down below and you can come along and join him. Uh, so I'll be reading a bit one. and talking about it and stuff. Um, and the thing is, why I wanted to do all these dogs is because I'm already thinking about book three. Um, uh, my publisher's going, uh oh. <laughs> and uh, so I'm already thinking about book three. And, um, and I've got the plot and it involves a whole group of dogs of influence who are kind of the kind of dogs that have, you know, sort of several million uh, followers on Instagram and there really are dogs like that and um, and so it what's really interesting is like yesterday uh, we were drawing um, Medley I keep wanting to say Melody Medley um, who's an Australian shepherd dog and we went all Australian didn't we Judy <laughs> <laughs> and, with the day Medna there yeah uh, and so it's sort of giving me all sorts of ideas of you know, what, what if we had an Australian dog in the thing, you know, what what stories would happen. So um, imagine there's that line down the middle there, Karina, and then we're just sort of curving that down. So this will be wanting to, the chest will wanting to go there and then that will curve a bit and this will curve a little bit like that. Hmm. Um, and I love the idea of um, of of uh, Max here. This is um, Katie Del Guerco's dog. Who's, she sent this in. Who's had this brilliant idea? <laughs> She's out there. She's but you, watching. Oh, great! And you can see from the uh, from the photos that Max obviously really does love his ice cream. <laughs> so so um, yeah, it's sort of giving me ideas of. You know, I, I think he, I think Max should be an entrepreneur and should be on, you know, Shark Tank or uh, Dragon's Den or something like that. You know, and, and there's all sorts of potential. There's some funny little things going on there in the neck as well. So, uh, oh yeah, and then these sort of eyebrows as well, which are like little interesting things on top. So uh, now, what I'm going to do next. Um, is to get my light pad because uh, I'm going to use watercolour paper and this is um, 350 grams per square meter. <laughs> 350 
250 GSM. Okay. Um, and it's quite thick, and so you can't see through that. You wouldn't be able to trace through. So, uh, so I mute. I turn the light off so you can see that better. And and doing all this tracing means you can get it really nicely positioned. And I know some people go, "That's cheating," but um, it's not cheating. <laughs> it's just what you have to do to get <laughs> to, to get the finished result that you desire, basically. And so now I'm going to ink this in, and. Uh, yeah, so any other questions going on there, Judy? It sounds like you might be drawing yourself. I don't know. I, you Did know, I... I, I was going to, but I started messing around with wires instead. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm just trying to find the link for Friday, uh, uh, Thursday, tomorrow's your thing. It on should the be in the description below, I think. Some, some it's the no, big I dog. Find it there. Oh. Well, um, I will make sure don't worry, it is there I'm afterwards. getting there. You carry on. I'm, um, I'm on it. Um, so, no, I thought I heard some pencil scratching on paper. I thought, oh, Judy's um, drawing along. Is that... <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm making that just slightly flatter on the bottom of the eye. So it's not a full, sort of a full circle. And that just kind of gives a little bit of sort of cheekiness into the eyes. And then the eyeball. I'm leaving a little bite cut out of it. And this won't be quite so circular on this side. And so we can bring that down to there and that will come around. There we are. And have you found it? Yeah. <laughs> Kid. And it should be there. And then we'll just Oh, I think all oh, those front teeth are quite big now. <laughs> got a bit too big. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the ice cream. It's got the, um, what's that thing? You get brain freeze or something. You know, it's <laughs> a dog with brain freeze. You don't need that. No, I think that would be totally out of control. So we'll just, let me put little kind of wiggles and things in there to remind me that that's going to be. Um, little markings on, on the neck there as well and so we can this is the collar and then he's actually a very smooth head isn't he I think there's always a every dog a slight little bit of ruffle kind of just underneath the, the chest there but I'm going to have this very definite star going on here i think that should be about that, that. oh that's gone too much and and then we'll bring the paw down there actually i'm going to come down this way and curl it around that way because that just feels more <laughs> natural to curl it around that way um and then i'm going to do that one and similarly here carpal pad Curl it around and curl it around and then we can curl it around there. And a little bit of shoulder on there and into the, um, what's it called? It's a, um, a flavor sensing aerial. <laughs> oh, I can, I can smell. Bacon radar. I can smell bacon radar. <laughs> <laughs> it was in invented in the Second World War as a secret weapon or something. You know? <laughs> but, uh, it was the forerunner of the, the Turing. Oh, that's not so good, is it? No, never mind. Don't look down there. Um, we'll have <laughs> that there. And I think we also probably need, if I just come and draw here, I think we need a tub of ice cream as well, probably. Oh. So we'll have that there, blah, 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 something like that. Um, that's just a, a little bit about there. And I'm going to draw a little curve like that, and blah, 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 blah um, with bits in it. Got to have bits. And what is that? That's like a... 
a quart, isn't it? And there I should think. And I think we're going to call this the hog. Hog and dogs. <laughs> hog and dogs. Mmm, bacon. <laughs> bacon robins. Uh, like that. Cool. And so, now the next bit is is tricky because um, I turn those lights back on. The next bit is tricky because I'm going to paint this all in grayscale, and I am going to my all-time favourite neutral tint, um, which is, is is basically is a kind of a grey, and so it's, it's this one here, and it just comes out in this kind of grey. If you use black, the reason I'm I, the reason I use this is because the um, the books are printed in in black and white and in half tone. And uh, so it needs to be kind of painted in a similar kind of way uh, in one colour uh, so that it can be then scanned in grayscale. Um, and this is a black dog. This is now this is really difficult because it's a black dog. And if it's not, <laughs> then it's got a very dark eyes and everything. And it just in the end could just sort of look very just a great black blob which is what we don't want to want to happen. So um, I, I kind of noticed that uh, Max has slightly, he's slightly paler around the eyes. So I'm just going to paint this with it's clean funny. water. If you hear any little sort of murmurs in the background, it's not me, it's Jessie. OK. <laughs> I'm not sure whether she wants ice cream. <laughs> So I'm painting just clear water around the eyes there just to wet the paper. And then I'm just going to start off with grey, just a little bit darker maybe. And this is a water brush that I'm using. So the water is in the handle and it just keeps sort of flowing down the handle. And as we get to that area where I've already painted it, it should just kind of flow into that area and thin itself down and we should get a nice sort of softening um, little kind of slightly paler around the eyes and and then we can sort of keep working our way down and I'm just really going to go as far as the color I think because I now want to get some slightly darker um, and then while the, the grey is wet, then I can drop this darker into there um, around the top there just to get that kind of moulding and modelling. Uh, and again, but I'm not wanting it to... to it, it is a black dog. <laughs> I don't want it to be black because it'll just print as a kind of a black blob. And I want something just a little more subtle. And so that should work, I think. I think maybe just a little bit more around there. It's just sort of dropping it in while it's wet. Like that. And then we'll put more shade under there a bit later, I think. I'll just drop a bit more in there. And so this is wet on wet, this technique. Um, and while it stays wet, you can add more colour and it just sort of fades in nice and softly whereas once it's dry then you'll get a hard edge when you put another layer over the top and, and so if you wanted to keep it wet you need to work quite quickly so I'm going to leave that and while you're doing there. that you're not squeezing hmm. the brush at all I'm not squeezing the brush at all and I think it flows well, doesn't it? I think it's a, a thing that... I think when you first use a water brush, you sort of feel, oh, I must have to squeeze it. Mm. Yeah, I'd, um, I'm sure that's why mine stopped working. Yeah. And I, and I think the more you squeeze it, the more it does sort of clog up, I think, because it, it sort of puts pressure on the... The whatever it is, there's a funny kind of little valve if you've ever opened one up. I haven't quite worked out how it works, 
There's a funny little tube which works as a, some kind of a valve. And the little white bit isn't a tube, The little white isn't bit, it? yeah. It, it's, you think it's hollow, but it's not. I tried it's not. putting a pin. Yeah. And, and I don't, I, I'm going to have to. We're going to have to have a Wednesday drawing show investigation. <laughs> <laughs> You can have to find the inventor of the water brush. Factory visit, I think, is called for. A factory visit, yeah, absolutely. And say, what is this all about? <laughs> What's going on here? So this, again, is while it's all wet, it's, I can see it's starting to dry here, so I'm reluctant to put any there. And I'm just going to let that stay a bit lighter there. Uh, and then I can carry on on this leg here, which I know is going to be slightly darker and because it's sort of more shaded over there and then i can let that have a sort of soft shadow in there and i'm going to put soft shadows in on the feet there while that's still wet as well and we can do this back leg here joyce is and passing on from ian is saying you make it look so easy <laughs> practice 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 <laughs> so and and as i was saying i was i was thinking it, it it's it's really difficult when you're showing how to do things because i, I know there's a guy on youtube who's been doing it for years i, I assume he's still going there called called the five pencil method yeah. and <laughs> And it feels like it's a very structured way of drawing. You must have these five pencils and you've got to do it this way. And um, and and he's, oh, I usually do this last minute, don't I, that bit, but. Um, and, and he does these beautiful kind of, you know, very realistic, sort of photographically realistic portraits and things. And he builds, builds it up from very fine pencil to a much darker pencil, adding in the darks as he goes. And, and it works, um, and, and but at the same time, I'm kind of, I kind of feel it's a bit limiting to say you must only use these five pencils and never use anything else, um, you know, be, because people like to experiment and try things. Mm. But, but at the same time, uh, I think if if you spend all your time experimenting and trying things. You know, <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to get really good at anything. And if you stick with one medium, uh, and that then, you know, you're going to get good at it until you reach the point where you think, I don't like this medium anymore. Oh, sorry, you want to see that? <laughs> um, and until you reach the point where you go, I don't actually like this medium, I don't like watercolour, I want to do acrylics or oils or something, in which case then you move on. But if you do find something that really resonates with you, and watercolour did with me, right from the start. I, I, well, I think right from the start, I think I, I did oils and things, but I got sort of bored waiting for things to dry, and I tried acrylic, and that dried too quickly. Um, and and then I sort of discovered watercolours and thought, oh, I really like this. and. Um, and it just, you know, the, you, you find a medium that you kind of can work with uh, then then just keep working with it and and learn all about it um rather than keep switching and trying this and that and, and just stick with the one thing and get good at that um and get known for that <laughs> if you want to get known for something that is and that, as an illustrator you do want to get known <laughs> for, for a style uh, yeah, as a commercial illustrator you want to get known? I think you find what what suits you, don't you? I know when I mm. started back in the end of 2014 and mm. I, I decided I would just try everything. Yeah. But it wasn't very long that I settled on pen and ink and, and watercolours because I yeah. just kept coming up to them and... yeah. Oh, yes, no, I, I like how these look. There's so much life in watercolour, yeah. I think. Yes, I think so. And, or, or, the, or they can be, anyway. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, because it's, it's so quick and Im immediate. And, um, and for sketching, you know, it's just 
um, it's just the best, I think. You know, and I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing a course myself next uh, next month um, on um, Turner, his his kind of painting techniques. Oh, wow. so he was a very very wild and free you know and i keep thinking you know how, how does that fit in with why am i doing this how does that fit in with what i'm doing but i don't know it's, it, i thought it'd just be interesting to try watercolors in a, a different way uh, i'm just going to wash this with my hair dryer So I think it's really details n now. So um, I'm going to add a bit of shading underneath there in the ear, and that helps us to bring the, the flaps into focus. And then the uh, eyes. This is almost a tricky bit. So we've got that little cut in the eyeball there, and that's. Um, where the light is reflected and that really helps to bring a character to life uh, if you leave that the white out that just makes them look well not quite so alive somehow and then i'm just going to drop in some darker around it up at the top and while it's still wet then it can just kind of fade down into it and the similar here and i'll just twist the brush in there to get a point to it and and in, in terms of materials and things like that and i always used to use sort of you know beautifully expensive sable brushes and um and then uh, i've said many times somebody asked me you know, would i review these water brushes and I, when i i ordered them and it just sat there because i thought they're just cheap nasty toys and I thought you can't use those hurry <laughs> and then one day I thought oh I, I couldn't think of a, a video to do well I opened up the packet and got this thing out and it's like whoa this is really interesting <laughs> and uh and I thought, this is really good for sketching and 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 it, it did change my life actually <laughs> because it's sort of because you can just stick it in your pocket and go off sketching with it and you know where, where's where's my little set the um it um, makes it so much easier doesn't set. it yeah not not um, having to have water pots i know there's all sorts you can get exactly. with exactly and, and that's and that's all you need and yeah. you can fit that in your pocket and, mm. and a pen and that's all i have with me and and a bit of tissue paper, but you pick up napkins along the way because you're drawing in cafes. <laughs> and, um, and 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 suddenly I was sort of going out and about and sketching again, which is because you could just do it and not have to think about it. And now I'm just going to paint a little bit over the star, just to so it's not just a sort of a, a, a white. <laughs> blob just sitting in the middle there like that and I'll just kind of add a little bit of a bit more just sort of smooth it out um I think we need that to be darker inside the mouth yeah and so and so in, as, yeah so if you find something that works for you just stick at it and really get to know it and and uh, it, this does come as a set you can get a set of these and you get a thin one and a flat one and i think there's another shape um but i only ever use this broad one because it does come to a very very fine tip and you can do very very fine things with it and then you can um you know use the side of the brush and do a great sweeping wish with it as well at the same time so i find it's a very adaptable brush that you can do lots with and um and and you just get it out of your pocket and do it <laughs> and, and and so much i think of you know i i tell people you know practice 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 
which is easy to say, but then people go, oh, well, I've got to find my paper, and oh, where did I put my watercolours, and oh, where's this, and where's that? And it takes you a quarter of an hour to find everything, by which time you know, you've got to go and do something else. And and the beauty of this, this little set is you can kind of have it with you, whoosh, and just do it, and not have to think about it. So I'm just going to do that, and I think we need a little bit more around the pores. And and because I I know these brushes now, I can I can just kind of do that in there because because I know how it's going to behave itself. I think that's with every every new brush that you get. And you, it might be exactly the same brand and thing as a brush you've had before, but each brush will tend to <laughs> have its own character and uh, and you have to sort of get to know each brush and some are pigs and you just <laughs> can't wait for them to break so you can get a new one and uh, and some are they just work beautifully and you just kind of Kirst you know, Kirsty uh, is saying that she hmm. found the pental ones were prone to leaking that's interesting oh. I haven't found that mm. myself but I have no. heard. Are you squeezing? Just about all Are you squeezing? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Um, because the uh, I, the only time I'm ever really squeezing is is when you clean the brush. So I've always got this little bit of <laughs> kitchen towel in my uh, in my hand, in the other hand, and then to clean the brush, it's just a gentle squeeze. And then that will clean all the paint off the brush and you're ready to go for a new colour. Um, whereas normally you're going ding, ding, ding in a jam jar or something. And it's a very gentle squeeze, but you don't squeeze while you're painting. Just l it flows under gravity. And if it stops flowing under gravity, then you've got to learn how to clean them out. <laughs> and that is a bit of hard work. Um, but then again, they're not hugely expensive, but you know, so you know, they are kind of slightly throw away. I think this one is a bit older here, and you can see, um, if I zoom right in, you can see here this bit's chipped away. Can you see that? Is that yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and 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 this sort of tends to happen after a while, the, this part starts breaking down, the black part starts breaking down, and um, and there's the, the the what are they called hairs the bristles start um you know detangling as well after a while but you've got to be really careful putting them in because otherwise they kind of bend back they, they um, stay but, a lot better than the derwent um yeah the derwent yeah. fibers seem to break up I, I don't like the brushes as much anyway but the fibers no, break i think they're a little bit they're a little bit of sort of firmer aren't they i don't, don't mm. think they're quite so flexible mm. and i've tried them all karen dash sent me some and i sent them back i said i can't i can't oh recommend gosh, these to so my weird. viewers <laughs> and they have a pump thing on the side they got a little button, work out. yes <laughs> yeah i couldn't work out what they were about at all um so and i'm just going to put a little bit of Sort of in there, and then we'll, I think we need. A, I think I made those teeth a little bit too big, but we need a bit of shadow on the teeth because teeth aren't aren't they are white, but you know they they get affected by shadows. And this this um, the top lip is hanging over and cre casting a shadow un underneath onto the onto the top teeth. So I'm going to call that it. Can you zoom out just a little? Oh, sorry, bit? sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we've got, that's lovely. So we call Max Sweet Beep. <laughs> and so this is my last proper dog. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's going to make you wonder what's coming tomorrow, isn't nice it? Proper dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my last. I'm going to have a toy dog. poodle. So, Mm, I'm not letting on. I'm not letting on. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So, have we got anything interesting going on in the chat? Uh, um, uh, Louise was asking about your hair dryer, 
and I did. All they can say about my hair, because <laughs> well, when you look at. <laughs> it's all over the place. We all need a haircut. <sighs> Mrs. Rain has an appointment on Monday, I think. <gasps> Oh, oh, I bet she's excited. In Wales. She's allowed to go to Wales, you see, because she always oh. goes. Yeah. I know. Don't, actually, don't tell anybody. Is Wales open on allowed. Monday then? Yeah. Oh, right. For hairdressers. Yeah. So mm. sh I'm, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. I won't say anything in case I'm incriminating myself. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, right. What have we... Um, uh, because it, no, no, squeezing it had a life of its own. Oh right. Um, ah, the, the, yeah. I don't know. I, I think I think once or twice maybe. Um, I've oh, I'm moving myself all over the place. Hang on, I can't, why, why can't I move this on my screen? Now? Oh, I'm going to have to leave that. Oh, it's all gone everywhere now, isn't it? Oh yeah, we've lost a friend. Um, yeah, let's bring that back. There we are. <laughs> I can't seem to... No, that's going to have to stay where it is now. Uh -huh. There we are. So, um, I think maybe once or twice or something, I've had a problem here and it's it's come out from there and i think you just have to kind of make sure it's squeezed tight there um or otherwise it's kind of not been put together again but generally mm. i i can't say i've ever had a problem really it, uh, and, and yeah. any problems i've had have really been me abusing them i think and sort of shoving the lids on too qu quickly and not. And i think when you take care. them to bits and you push yeah. the fibers in to to yeah. get that bit out if you don't fit it back tightly enough yeah or far yeah. enough you need to sort of poke something in from the other side don't you just yeah. to make I, sure I, it's I, I, I i i i think i made a video on how to wash them i can't remember you did <laughs> i did 20th Cause... of november last year oh excellent because I, 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 I know i, know I meant to I meant to, and I can, in my head I can think, yeah, that's what I how I yeah. would have done it. Did I actually make a video? Yeah, it was written in my sketchbook, cool. and I watched it the other day. Oh, there we are, good. And um, what else we got? Was the initials? Um, Gabriel asked, was the initial sketch also drawn on the paper? No, I was using what we call over here in England um, it's cartridge paper, which I think is called cartridge because that's what gun cartridges you know were originally made of or something anyway um which i think in the states is called bristol paper but bristol paper here is a very very smooth paper so it gets very com it's you know it's tomatoes tomatoes <laughs> it's it's hoods and trunks and stuff <laughs> we are a, a a language separated by nonsense aren't we something like that uh katie del greco says he looks great makes me smile good i'm glad you like <laughs> um kirsty color sketch in england my little boy needs a haircut so bad <laughs> oh don't we <laughs> and joyce says i think you can get a haircut in the outer hebrides next week <laughs> <laughs> but we might not be able to get there well we are we are intending to be in Scotland going up to the Murray Firth in May and we're assuming we're going to be allowed so <laughs> it looks it looks it looks like it's going to be okay I think so um uh have we anything else uh Kirsty Color I have the Ranger heat gun that's fab oh cool and yeah no I, I've got this old hair dryer it's up. Yes, Louise was asking where you got it. <laughs> this is a Clairol, which I bought in Boots the Chemist in in Birmingham in 1984, <laughs> and it's still going. Uh, I, it's going to break soon. I know it is. Uh, Crispin says, "I saw my Pentel Acrobrush is pointing downwards. I'm sure it helps." Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so. 
Uh, and Kirsty says her uh, or teaser ones work fab fab for you. Yeah, and and I think when you find one that works for you, go yay, <laughs> and <laughs> and, uh, and and just sort of keep keep working with it and and learn all the different things it can do. And like like I said, um, if I get another piece of paper um, here and go back to oh head. There we go. Yeah, there you are, Judy Cam. Right. Uh, <laughs> and um, but the, this is the broken one here. But anyway, so um, so you can have so if you kind of twist it around a little bit to make sure you have got the point, um, then you can you know draw very very fine with it, um, and you can do. You know, interesting little brush strokes, but you can do very big brush strokes on the side as well. And and the thing about a water brush also is that it, it, because the water is flowing, as you keep painting, the water is flowing and flowing and flowing. And it is because the water is flowing, it is thinning out the paint. So as you keep painting, it will eventually sort of turn to <laughs> uh, just it's water basically so it is it is getting thinner and thinner and thinner i started with a huge great blob um, whereas That's if you had a normal touch. brush um, it would have dried out by now but a normal brush would have stayed uh, the same consistency and same same color and tone texture uh, and tint um, that you would have loaded the brush with so that is one thing that is very very different um, so if I was to, um, I'll just clean the brush. If I just get a little bit of um, paint on there and then sort of paint, you can see it is it is getting thinner. So if, if you're trying to do a large area, um, it, it's, it's going to get thinner. <clears throat> It's going to get thinner uh, as you I get found that bottom. difficult with the sky the other when we yeah. did the last zoom on Patreon. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, 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 we and I think some, there are some things you're not going to be able to do with this brush. Mm. Uh, like like a big flat colour. You really need, need a traditional brush to do that. Yeah. So. Um, Crispin says that he was drawing along, but his dog had legs are too short and they look like makes it look like sweet beeps ducks and cousin <laughs> I, th I thought he was going to say his, his dog ate his work <laughs> uh, there we go uh, bubble pop production just post a drawing of my dog as a person it's sort of like this i guess yeah and uh Fireborn, she looks so interested <laughs> who's that what judy are you looking interested <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is she? There we are. Yes. It. Yeah. Let's explain That's, fast forward. <laughs> that was um, Big Brother. Did you ever used to watch Big Brother? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the girl. There was a young, very young blonde girl. It was when they had the guy with Tourette's on. And they, they, oh. she got together with the guy with Tourette's. And, and somebody else came in, you know, and she was going, who? She, who is she? <laughs> it became, <laughs> it became a, a, a kind of a family thing. You know, anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, where a bit of a bit of where are we? Trails. Uh, you will need your beauty sleep tonight, shoot. I think. Yeah, big day tomorrow. It is. So, so tomorrow mm. at one thirty, I will be presenting my new book, Bye -bye. Walker: The Mystery of the Missing Millions. You can see I've got my places already worked out. And I showed you, I showed you this one the other day. Uh, if I go to the overhead, um, how this is this is my my working copy, <laughs> which has all these <laughs> things in. So I don't actually read it all the way through. I sort of show cut that page out, and I go from here to there or whatever. So uh, I've been planning what I'm going to read, and again here I've been doing these little bits and actually just slightly changing the some little bits of text i just sort of slightly change adding a different word or something like that and cutting something out just so that it flows a bit better in 
the storytelling, which is kind of, oh, I'm not in there. <laughs> and uh, it, the storytelling of it is different to the reading. Um, so it, it's sort of getting... Trails has stopped halfway time. through because he wants to finish reading it with you tomorrow. Oh, cool. There we are. Right. So well, I'm not reading cool. the whole thing tomorrow, so... <laughs> <laughs> And I'll be doing a bit of uh, uh, drawing, drawing and stuff like that, and sort of just just generally talking. I'll be show, showing all the kind of sketches and stuff like that it, it, that led up to it and stuff. Ah, uh, Kirsty says you remind me of Giles off this morning. Which one is is that? Is that the one after the on the BBC at nine o'clock? I don't know. I don't. I don't uh, watch. Where they at that they all time sit of around day. on old Urkel furniture, which has been upcycled. Like Charles Brandreth, <laughs> surely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Charles Brandreth as well. It could be Charles. Mm. Uh, Karina says, "I'm looking forward to the Saturday patron class to keep learning more." Oh about yes, we have a Zoom. Yeah, so uh, Saturday. I know. Yesterday, I, I had 99 patrons, and now I have 101 patrons. So welcome to my new patrons. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and on Saturday, uh, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, I don't know what that hashtag is, Judy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm, in, I'm on it. <laughs> and so on Saturday, uh, my, for my patrons um, on Patreon, which you'll find the links down below, I will be doing uh, uh, two... A morning and an afternoon session, they'll be the same session, so you can come and do them both or just come and do one. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing a watercolour 101 session right from the start. So if you've never done watercolour and you kind of really don't know, you can come and join me on Patreon. Not just come and join me, come and join everyone. Half, half, the, half the people in the chat are, are, are yes. patrons. We'll all be there. <laughs> and I hope you will all be there too. Um, so, so you'll be in... In, in good company, who you've sort of probably come to know if you've been watching Lovely. all these dog things. And uh, I will be starting off with, like, this is a piece of paper, this is a brush, this is water, and this is colour. Um, let's see what we can do with it and, and do some very, very, very simple things to, just to sort of start right from scratch. And, uh, and I've got, got a couple of little ideas that we might actually end up with something to show um, and sort of trying some very simple techniques uh, just to get you started, sort of very basic things, just to get you started. If you've not really done watercolour before and, you, and you're too scared to ask, come along and join us on Patreon. <laughs> so, uh, I think we are kind of... Oh, Louise O'Connell, I'm going to join your Patreon today. Yay! Yes! <laughs> Excellent. There we are. Uh, pocket size wisdom. I always get here late. Uh, uh, and, um... Cool. Well, I think we have been here for an hour and uh, and I need to get preparing for tomorrow as well. <laughs> so I'll be back here at four o'clock as well with the final dog of influence. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the dog of mystery. Uh, I was I'm, I'm using a program called Ecamm Live here to do all this. And, um, oh, I just realised at the top here, it tells me, oh, I see, I got two thumbs down. Somebody didn't like it. Um, oh, so, no. <laughs> and I'm using a programme called Ecamm Live, and Ecamm were watching the other day as I was trying, saying, what I need yes, is to be able to do, have an echo to go, the dog of mystery. And they said to tweet them afterwards, and they would tell me how I could do that, but I hadn't done that yet. So. Oh. <laughs> I think there must be a way of rerouting microphones through a. I, I think. You know what trouble I've had with microphones recently? Oh, <laughs> yeah, very careful. It sounds like it's asking for trouble, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> cool. So uh, I shall be here tomorrow on. Uh, Judy Woo, Mystery Dog. I think Judy might have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I shall be at the Big Dog Festival. The link is down below at 1.30 UK time tomorrow. And I shall be back here at 4 p.m. Glutton for punishment with do, 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 the mystery dog, um, which will be a bit I of think, fun. I think you so need we can... to 
add the link. Uh, to, I, I did there? put it in the chat, but it's pushed. Oh, right. it's gone. Okay, I'm sure now. I had it in there, but I will I will check. If it isn't in there, I will put the link in there. And uh, and I think that we will say to everybody, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I drink and so I'll much I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye bye, Judy. <laughs> bye, Shu. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching and make sure you click that little subscribe button. And when you do, ring the bell so that you get notifications of when I am going to go live next. You can come along and join in and bring your ideas as well. In the meantime, stay safe, keep well and keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye. <laughs>